Creating Store Edge Profiles. We're going to open up the portal, and on the top right hand side, we're going to find our account. Click it and go to My Account. When the account details page loads up, we're going to look in the gray bar for Storage Profiles up at the top in the middle. We'll click that guy. And then on the right hand side, we're going to look for Add Storage Profile. Let's go ahead and select United States. And then we'll add some details about this storage profile. We'll type in a name and give it a description. All of our profiles are going to be created under our account, and then we can apply it to individual sites once they're all done. Our homeowner would like to have two different settings, one for weekdays and one for weekends. Well, let's go ahead and set that up. We're going to add a profile type, and then let's go ahead and call this weekday. And we want to set this to maximize discharge to limit imports between three and eight. Let's go ahead and select that here. And then we'll change our schedule. Put in some information here. We're going to set this to maximize discharge to limit import. And our peak hours are 3 to 8. So we'll go ahead and select 3 p.m. And then we'll select 8 p.m. You can add a description here, but let's just go ahead and save for now. We'll just verify that everything took. We scroll down here, we can see we're all set, we're ready to go. So let's create one for the weekend. Again, we'll add profile type. We'll give it a name, we'll call this weekend. Fill in all of our details. And our homeowner on the weekends would like to charge from excess PV. Let's go ahead and set that up. In this case, we don't have to set a schedule. So we'll go ahead and save. Now we've got our weekdays and our weekends ready to go. So we're going to add a seasonal profile. Now for each day, we'll select our schedule. And we'll see this popping up here. Now, if you do happen to select the wrong one, you can just come back, reselect, and you're good to go. After that, we'll add some details here, and we'll give it a name. And what we'll need to do after that is set up the dates that we want this to apply to. In this case, we're going to select January 1st through December 31st. That'll cover us throughout the entire year. All right, we're all set here. Now, if you do need to set up an exception for specific days, like holidays, you can do that right over here for special days. Last thing we need to do is input our backup reserve and click save. So we'll go ahead and do this right down here on the bottom. We'll put in 20%, click create, and then we can apply it to whatever site we want. Thanks for joining us in the Solar Edge Learning Lab.